Welcome to Engineering Funda family. In this video, I'll be going to explain you the basic comparison in between I2C and SPI protocol. In my previous videos, I have already explained you how I2C and SPI protocol is there with great details. But in this video, I'll explain you the basic comparison. Why? The reason is you should know in which situation we should be using which protocol. You will be observing in embedded system, these two protocols are very essential for onboard communication. But which protocol should be utilized under which circumstance that you should know for that I have made this video. So let us see how I2C and SPI protocols are there with respect to each other. So here when we talk about I2C, then that is inter-integrated circuit bus that was developed by Philips in 1982 and SPI serial peripheral interface bus that was developed by Motorola in 1979. Here when we talk about number of wires with I2C then you will be observing we just need two wires. One wire is there for serial data that is referred as SDA and second wire is there for serial clock that is referred as SCL. By using these two wires we can interface 128 devices and for SPI we will be having four wires for two device only as if you increase number of devices in that case number of slave select lines will also increase. But to have two device communication you need minimum four lines. MOSI that is master out slave in line, MISO that is master in slave out line, here MOSI that is used to send data to slave and MISO that is used to receive data from the slave. Here SCL that is serial clock line that will be given by master and slave select that is also given by master. So my dear students only two devices that will be there with SPI with four lines and as if you increase number of slaves then slave select lines will increase. So in terms of number of wires I2C is way better compared to SPI. Here when we talk about communication mode then I2C is providing only half duplex communication. You see here we have only one line for serial data. So either master can send data or master can read data means half duplex communication is possible. But with SPI protocol you can have half duplex as well as full duplex communication. You see here MOSI that is used to have sending of data from master to slave and at the same time master can read data by MISO where master will read data from the slave. So that is possible at the same time means you can have full duplex enabled with SPI. So here SPI is having full duplex communication compared to I2C protocol. When we talk about configuration then I2C that is suitable for multiple master multiple slave configuration. But when we talk about SPI then you should know it is suitable for single master multiple slave configuration. So here SPI that is having one disadvantage over here. Why the reason is here as you increase number of slaves number of lines will increase as well as it is suitable for single master multiple slave configuration. While over here with I2C by single line we just provide data and by single line we just provide clock and that is possible by multiple master right. So it is not having dependency on single master you can have multi master configuration over here. When we talk about speed then SPI is having an edge here I2C is having slower speed in majority of cases you will be having 400 kbps at max with SPI you are having higher speed and in majority of devices you will be observing it provides supports up to 10 Mbps. When we talk about start and stop bits requirement then in I2C protocol we provide start and stop bits while with SPI we don't need it. Here my dear students acknowledgement that is also given in I2C protocol when you have communication and in SPI you don't need acknowledgement. The reason is here dedicated lines are provided. When we talk about redundancy then in I2C there will be redundancy 
you will be having redundancy in terms of start bit, stop bit, acknowledgement bits as well as address. While with SPI, you don't have any redundancy. So my dear students, I2C is slow basically in terms of speed. Along with that, you will be having redundancy of start, stop as well as acknowledgement and address. While that redundancy is not there with SPI as well as it is fast. You will be observing cost wise, this I2C is low cost protocol. In that you just need to have two wire configuration only. But this SPI is costly. Why the reason is minimum four wires are required over here. You will be observing IO constraint that is there in I2C. Why the reason is here this two line SDA and SCL both should be pulled up. So for that you need to provide pull up resistor as well as along with that you need to connect VCC. So here IO constraint is there in I2C while that is not required in SPI. In majority of controller you will be observing internal pull up is there. So here it is not compulsory that you will have to connect external pull up resistor in I2C. But my dear students you should know when you do internal pull up at that time also internally there will be pull up resistor that will consume some power. So here in terms of power you will be observing SPI is better compared to I2C. Here when we talk about addressing then when you communicate two devices at that time 7 bits of addressing is required in I2C and here you will be observing with SPI you will be providing chip select right. So number of chip select that will identify which device is getting selected based on SS is equals to logic low and that will be given by master. While in I2C this 7 bits of addressing that will be given by master and based on 7 bits at max you can say 2 to the power 7 means in total 128 devices can be interfaced over here. When we talk about power consumptions, then you should know my dear students I2C will consume bit more power why the reason is here we have pull up. So because of pull up here it will consume some power by default while with SPI it will be having low power consumption. So in case of battery requirement you can say SPI is better but in case of complexity you can say I2C is better. Here my dear students I2C is plug and play while when we talk about SPI then you need to have configuration when you establish the communication. But with I2C you can have plug and play right. So directly one can transfer the data you don't need to configure anything only thing is just forward address and slave should receive it if slave is giving response that slave is ready direct communication is possible while with SPI you will have to configure the device first. It is not plug and play. Right. Here my dear students in terms of distance both are on board for short range communication only. So here in short my dear students now you can understand one thing for high bandwidth communication SPI is better. For full duplex mode communication SPI is better. Here my dear students when it comes to cost at that time I2C is better. Here my dear students you should know when you have multiple devices at that time I2C is better. But when multiple devices are there at that time SPI is no longer in, in use. The reason is now you need to have multiple slave select rather you should use multiple slave select. What I prefer is you should go for parallel communication right. The reason is if you have many wires what is the use of serial communication. So that is how things are there. So here this is all about comparison.